let's talk about HP Instant Ink. I want to dispel some of the lies that are going around about Instant Ink. And I don't think they're malicious lies. I think they're just ill-informed. Well, I've been an Instant Ink subscriber now for two years and seven months. And I've loved the service, but if it's not for you, that's fine. But there is a lot of misinformation out there about Instant Ink. I've made two videos on this, one talking about HP Plus and Instant Ink, the differences, and I think that's part of the confusion. And the other about my one year experience with Instant Ink and how much money it saved me, how well it's worked out for me. So today I'm gonna delve into this. We're gonna talk about Instant Ink again, and we're gonna talk about some of the lies and why I think they are inaccurate and also where I think the confusion starts. Actually, I'm gonna start out with where I think the confusion starts because if we look forward here, we can see on my printer, I've left this on here on purpose, that there was a six month trial of Instant Ink with HP Plus. You had to get HP Plus to get the six months of free ink. Usually you only get a month, and by the way, I have a link down in the description that gets you a free month and me a free month. If you click on that link, if you have an HP Instant Ink compatible printer and you wanna try out the service, you can get a free month to try it out. And I get a free month, it's a win-win. But let me tell you, Instant Ink and HP Plus, two absolutely different things. And the best way I can describe HP Plus is HP Plus does a couple things. Number one, you are agreeing, and the way they tantalize people into it is they'll give something like three months. I think it's down to three months now if you join HP Plus. But HP Plus will lock your printer to HP inks. You can only use official HP inks in your printer with HP Plus. And the trade off for that, which you're gaining by only allowing HP inks to go into this, is they will double the warranty. So in this printer, it had a one year warranty, it went to a two year warranty, and you get some apps. You have these printables that are more handy than you would think. You get mobile fax, you can camera scan. I actually used this for a job that I was on, and people on that job were paying 60 bucks for this official app. I used this and it worked just fine. You can print remotely and send it directly to your printer no matter where you are at in the world. So that's the two things basically that are HP Plus in exchange for locking down the printer to HP only cartridges, you get the app and you get a doubling of the printer warranty. And we're gonna talk about that maybe a little bit too because something going on here with mine, but that is HP Plus. Now HP Plus is not Instant Ink. You may get a trial of Instant Ink with HP Plus, but Instant Ink on its own is a standalone product. And I think that's where the confusion comes in. Instant Ink, I've seen a lot of misinformation and they're just ill-informed. They don't use the service, so they don't know. So let me tell you, the Instant Ink service is simply, you pick a plan. If you have an Instant Ink compatible printer, and again, I do have a link down in the description you can get a free month. I get a free month. It's a win-win. I've actually got quite a few free months from my videos, but with Instant Ink, they will send you a cartridge. You sign up like my service. I have 100 pages a month and it's $5.99 though recently. It just went up to $6.99. So we'll keep a watch on those pricing, but still that's fair. Still gonna be a deal for me given how much I print because there's a thing with Instant Ink that makes it really, really good. Let's just say this is an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Well, this is full color printed here. If I were to print with a standard ink cartridge, you know the cartridge anxiety, where you're thinking, oh, that's gonna suck up all of my ink. Well, with instant ink, you don't have to worry about that anymore because it doesn't matter to HP if there's a simple dot on this page and that's the only thing that prints, that's one page. Or if you print full color an entire page, that's still one page. So you quit having to worry about, oh no, this is gonna take up all of my cartridge. That goes away with Instant Ink. So there's that. But let's get into these lies. Some of the lies that I see is that it's going to lock your printer to HP only inks. The people that are saying that are just misinformed. Again, they're probably not subscribers of the service. You wanna to listen to people that actually have the service, at least I do. Well, what that is, is there's a little bit on both sides here, is while you are subscribed to Instant Ink, Instant Ink wants you to use the Instant Ink cartridges. Now, if you were in a case where you depleted a cartridge 
and you didn't have a replacement that was shipped to you, though they've been very good about monitoring and making sure I have cartridges. If you didn't have a cartridge and you needed one, you could run down to the store and buy an HP branded cartridge while you're on Instant Ink. You need to use HP cartridges. So you could go down and buy an HP cartridge and finish printing what you needed in the rare case, at least in my experience, that you had, in my experience, it's been a never case. I've never not had a cartridge or not had a spare from Instant Ink ready for me to print, and they do a good job of monitoring. They keep up with how much you print. I've had months where I printed a lot more than average, and the next week, I mysteriously got an extra box of ink, even though I hadn't depleted the cartridges that I already had. So while you are on Instant Ink, you will be using HP Instant Ink cartridges. And there is, I guess, the rare case where you could run out of that cartridge and need another one. If that was so, while you're on the Instant Ink program, you would need to go get an HP cartridge. But in my experience, that's never happened. And I do have the 100 page a month plan, but the free month that HP gives you when you sign up, like that link I was talking about in my description, that is up to 700 pages for a month. So when I've had those, those free months, I printed a lot of stuff. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of pages and gotten a lot out of these cartridges. These are higher yield than a standard, even the XL cartridge. These instant ink cartridges are a higher yield. They can print more pages, but I've never had any problem where I ran out of an instant ink cartridge and need one. But if I did, while I'm on the instant ink plan, I would need to use instant ink inks. So I guess that's not so much a lie as it is just ill-informed, like I said but it's not locking you into anything. You're just using the service that you're paying for. Lie number two, and this one is borderline very much. Just, well, it's just not true. And that is that people say, if you are an Instant Ink subscriber and you quit paying for Instant Ink, so you leave the service, that you can't use your printer anymore. 100% not true. If you joined HP Plus, when you signed up for Instant Ink, then it could be that you have to use HP branded cartridges in your printer. But if you didn't join HP Plus and you just have Instant Ink and you leave the Instant Ink service, your printer's gonna work just fine, except for one thing. And this is what there's a little bit of deception on from the people that are saying this, at least in my opinion. The Instant Ink cartridge that's in your printer at the time that you quit paying for this service, it's not gonna work. HP is gonna turn it off. These have a chip in them. HP will turn this cartridge off. And to me, that's just fair. That's not malicious in any way. That's fair. You are paying to use this cartridge when you're no longer paying to use it. Why should HP allow that? If they did allow that, what would happen is people would just sign up for the 99 cent plan and then instantly cancel and have full cartridges and then just go for however many months they could use these cartridges before they signed up again for 99 cents and got replacement cartridges. So you see, that's, that's actually crooked. That's, and not on HP's part, it's crooked on the people's part that are expecting to get something without paying for it. Even though there's still ink in here, well, let me tell you, if you quit paying for a service, and this is a service, even though this is a tangible product, it's still a service. If you quit paying for that service, you don't have any right to use this cartridge. As I mentioned earlier, people could just sign up, cancel, sign up, cancel, and basically get most of the service for next to nothing. Well, that's not fair. Here's an analogy. This is the Hulu app. I am, at least for now, a Hulu subscriber. If I quit paying for Hulu, a service, this is a service too, if I quit paying for Hulu, I still have my phone. I would still have the app on my phone, but I have no expectation that I would still be able to use the service. I'm not paying for it anymore. It's the same thing with HP Instant Ink. If you have ink in the cartridge, it doesn't matter. You're paying for the service. And when you quit paying for the service, you're not going to be able to use the cartridge. Some people call that waste. Well, if you go into a movie theater and you buy the large drink and you don't drink all of it, does that entitle you the next time you go to the movie theater to tell them you need half of a drink for free because you weren't able to drink it all the last time? No, you're not buying a new drink. You're not buying a new cartridge. You can't use this one and not pay for it. That's just fair to me. So I don't understand. Actually, I do understand 
I think it's people just trying to game the system, and those are the ones that are complaining, and everybody else is hearing, oh, they couldn't use the service anymore, they couldn't use their printer anymore. Not true. Those people could keep paying for Instant Ink, or in one person said their credit card lapsed. Well, yeah, update your card, and then your stuff will start working again. That's the way things work. That's the way subscription services work. And this is a subscription. And in my opinion, a good service because I can print full page things at whim without ever thinking about it. Doesn't matter. One dot, one letter, one full color page. It's all the same with Instant Ink. I think it's a really good service. I think it's a fair service. Now it is separate from HP+. You need to know the differentiation there and they don't do a good job of telling what HP Plus is and how it differs from Instant Ink. It kind of looks like they, they joined together, so HP could be doing something better, and that would be showing the difference between what HP Plus is and what Instant Ink is, but I'm telling you, they're two different things. I'm a member of both, or subscribed to both. I, well, I opted in to HP Plus, locked my printer to HP Inks, gave me an extra year warranty, and some apps. And by the way, in my initial video, I said, I don't know what happens to HP Plus after two years. And I said, they better not charge me for that. Well, I'm seven months past the free point and there's been no charge for HP Plus. And that's a good thing because as I have used HP Plus and I've enjoyed the apps and things like that and really don't care about it locking the printer to HP inks and so on, at least for me. But HP Plus, I've enjoyed that said, I wouldn't pay a nickel for it. I would not pay a nickel for HP Plus for the one year extended warranty. I mean, these printers are, I don't know how much this was. I got it as a gift. I can only assume it was probably 60, 70 bucks, something like that. But HP Plus as a free service or a free thing added onto the printer. Yeah, I'm fine with that, but it is different than Instant Ink. So know that Instant Ink is a standalone subscription service. If you have a printer that says it is instant ink capable, you can subscribe and enjoy the frills that I have. And again, I'll put a link down in the description. You can get a free month. I get a free month, whatever, or just sign up on your own. Honestly, I don't care. I just know that I enjoy it and I don't like all the misinformation that's out there about instant ink. But I will say I do think some of it is because HP doesn't do a good job telling what is instant ink and what is HP Plus. Now, all of that said, let me talk about one thing here, and that is one thing I don't like. You can see what my printer is doing here. It has started doing this. I can unplug it, leave it unplugged for a minute, plug it back, and it will start working, and within a day or two, this happens. So I looked online, I couldn't find anything that told me exactly what that was. So I tried to contact HP support. I spent five minutes on the phone with an automated system and you know how frustrating that is. And it was gonna transfer me to an agent and then I got hung up on. So the support, I don't know, I've called Instant Ink support a couple of times and that worked out quite well. Right now, I have this color cartridge and inside this is a black cartridge and my black's not even expended, but I do have something going on with this printer. So I don't know, I tried to call support. I know that the warranty has expired on this printer, but I can tell you right now, being an Instant Ink subscriber and how well it's worked for me and how much money it has saved me, here we go. The past, I think I did this through August, but I printed 1,330 pages since my last video. And I paid $5.99 a month for most of those months. I did get some free months, but I'm just counting it as though I paid even when I got a free month. And there were a couple of months, these last couple of months, the billing would have changed to $6.99. So that's 0 0.055 cents. So I just rounded that up to six cents per page. I looked up the price if I went to Walmart and I purchased an HP cartridge and the cheapest black cartridge is a standard yield and that is $21 and change, $21.99. Even the on-brand was $21. That's the off-brand, and the yield on those is only a couple of hundred pages. It would cost me 10 cents a page if I paid for even the cheapest cartridges that I can find locally. With Instant Ink, 
I'm only at six cents a page, and it doesn't matter if I print full page, full color, or if I print one letter or one dot on a page in black ink, it's all the same with instant ink. And I can guarantee you, I don't care if it's high yield or what, and these instant ink cartridges, if I haven't already mentioned, they have even a higher yield than the XL cartridges. But even if I purchased a high yield cartridge, if I'm printing something like this and printing multiple of those, yeah, you're not gonna get that normal yield that's based on average usage. So when they say 200 or so pages per cartridge, wouldn't get that on a full color, full spread page, but you do with instant ink and you do so, at least for me, at six cents a page. And I have the 100 pages a month with 300 rollover, the way the rollover works is if I use, say, 50 pages the previous month, well, I'll have an extra 50 pages that roll over to the next month. And I think those rollover pages hold for three months, I think. I've never had a problem where I ran out of pages to print. And I've printed a lot, especially with those free months where I can print up to 700 pages. I have printed a lot. I've really enjoyed this. I just don't know about this, so we'll see. But I can tell you, even if this printer is dead, I'll go get another instant ink printer and transfer my service over to that. I have liked it that much. I hope this video helps you out. Comment below if it did. And if you were believing some of the falsities, and again, I said lies, but it's really, I just think ill-informed people, except for the ones that I believe, at least in my opinion, are trying to get something for free or something for a lot cheaper by canceling and still thinking they can use the cartridges. No, you can't but you could still put another cartridge in this and work just fine. And if you weren't part of HP Plus, it wouldn't even be locked to an HP cartridge. So you could use it as you wanted. That's my story. That's Instant Ink. That's my printer. And this is two years, I think, two years and seven months. Two years and seven months with this. It's been a great service for me. I've been very happy. Comment below. I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Thanks for watching.